Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. An update on all my cows, and I have a question for you at the end to help me decide. I need some help. So, first of all, welcome to some new subscribers who've joined us. I hope you enjoy my yarn adventures and you find something interesting and worthwhile in the content. So those loyal subscribers, thank you for coming back and thank you for making comments. It really helps the channel. So, guys, what have I been up to this week? Well, the cows. I am doing so many cows, I decided I needed to get moving on a few. So first of all, Zeta's calendar cow, Zeta's place. Um, all the things I talk about, the links to patterns, everything will be in the description below. So March Calendar Cow is Island. It is, and I, I can't remember what she calls her channel. Um, Knitting I Love Barbara. She has a channel, so obviously I'll put a link in the description below. The photo of was her and Island, the rolling hills of Island. Her beanie pattern is called Full of Minnie's Hat Pattern, and it's on Ravelry. It's a paid-for pattern. And yes, what did it inspire me to do? Well, you know, I'm doing, if you've been around for a while, I'm doing tea cozies with Calendar Cow this year. And I decided I had a lot of greens left over from my um, blanket I did for Luck of the Draw 4, I think it was. And I decided, well, St. Patrick's Day, Island Green, Tuck Fold Knitting, I made a tuck folded knitted tea cozy and here it is that is my um march calendar cow entrance it's all tuck fold knittings in greens that i had left over with a little top yes both sides i've done tuck fold knitting before i often make and it usually sells pretty quickly i haven't made one for a while because i got bored with it um, this beehive tea cozy pattern that everybody seems to like by yarn inspirations and that if you want to learn how to do tuck fold knitting this I think this is a free pattern or you can try Barbara's mini um, beanie pattern because I thought that was quite good too now my little thing on top the reason I'm smiling I'm quite proud of that because I broke out my French Knitting Bee and I did it on my French Knitting Bee and found out apparently when Thing was very young he used to do a lot of French knitting and it's got me thinking all my leftover little bits of wool he could sit and French knit and I could turn it into a mat just have to see if I can coax him to do it but yeah I quite enjoyed doing the French knitting little loop a little different on my tea cozy but there you have it. I've decided to call this Rolling Hills because of the different greens and the different folds that form little hills on the tea cozy. It's a two to three cup pot, this one. So yeah, hope you like it. Let me know what you think of my Rolling Hills tea cozy and my entry for March Zeta's Calendar Cal. I really enjoy doing the Calendar Cal this year because she's um, with the photos. It's inspiring us to be a bit, a bit more creative and get our thinking caps on. So thumbs up to Zeta for coming up with that. My next cow is Luck of the Draw 5 with then this next knots. I love doing Luck of the Draw. And I've said before, my theme is um, where the rainforest meets the reef. I haven't shown you for a few weeks. We're up to week 7 and this is what my Luck of the Draw lap gown is looking like. This week, week seven, was my lucky number six, and it happens to be the purple, which represents the really deep color, deep down in the ocean. It's almost purpley blue when you go down to the reef. So there you have it. I really do like this, and I am enjoying it. And it is a sober, a sober granny blanket by, um, the secret yarnery I've said that before still using my little turtle stitch marker so yeah this is coming along nicely I have made it probably smaller than I would normally do but I will probably um, to get it up to size for charity 
I've put a decent border on. It has to be 80 centimeters by 80 centimeters or 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters. Um, but yeah, sometimes I do bigger one, the bigger size. But this time I decided I'd do the smaller size because of all the cows. So what else have I been up to as far as cow goes? Let me check my notes because I thought I had a bit more than that. Oh, yes. And I'm doing the Tunisian crochet to try and learn how to do Tunisian crochet better than I have in the past. And I'm doing Jada in Stitches Calendar Cal, a Tunisia Calendar Cal for 2022. And um, this month's stitch for March was the Pearl Stitch, which I have finished my square. I only finished it last night, so I haven't blocked it yet. Um, I did put the petrol coloured border on this blue. I'm not sure it works, but that's what I'm using. And yeah, I actually have probably enjoyed this stitch the most, the pearl stitch. And when doing it, I thought, I wonder if I could do a Tunisian crochet um, tea cosy in the pearl stitch. But yeah, there it is. My March square for that. And I am learning a lot from this Tunisian crochet along. So that's my cows today. There are a few others on the go. Um, I'm still racking my brain of how I will do the March calendar cow for um, Charm Grammy, which is like a crochet flowers that continuously join. Um, I don't want to buy new yarn. I am trying to use my yarn stock, but I can't seem to decide at the moment. But no doubt I may at the end of this video. Uh, I'm also working on quite a few um, tea cozies for my Etsy shop or the, if I do a charity stall in April because I've sold a couple and I realised I don't have that many done even by doing one a month for um, ZS Calendar Cow. I probably sell one a month so I've got to get a bit more productive there. I did catch up with Doreen, Emma's mum for coffee and um, yeah, good news there. Things of um, moving along fine. Today is probably a sad day for Emma because her Omi, her grandmother who came over from Germany. It's been six weeks and she goes home today. Um, but yeah, it was nice catching up with her. Fundraising hasn't really kicked off for the therapy pool because we had the massive floods down south and they were asking for donations. And then there's the, um, the invasion of Ukraine and there's lots of people, lots of charities asking for donations to help Ukraine. And as Dorian said, the timing is a little bit off at the moment, but we may do it later in the year. But at the moment, I am still plodding along doing little fundraisers. I just haven't finished writing up the small size for the tea cozy pattern I plan to sell for Emma's quest um Emma's kisses I just I've been so busy and all I feel like doing when I do actually sit down to craft is craft not actually because I do admin all day at work I don't feel like doing admin at the moment and writing it up but I will get there so that's cows and a bit of life chat regarding what I'm up to now, I did say at the end of 2021, I was really shocked. I had 20 whips or something on the go and that I was going to reduce them. Whether I finished them or whip, um, frog them was what I would decide. So I need your help. I have done quite a few, but this is one particular whip. Unfinished object, UFO, that every time I went to the pile, I'd go, Oh no, not yet, not yet. And I guess the decision is I'm sort of at that point where I haven't gone past that point, it's not worth frogging. And it, it just, I can't decide what to do. So here it is. Last year I started the, um, I don't even know what you call it, kaleidoscope blanket with B Wowed, and it's a tutorial. And that's as far as I got. Now I am using Hobie yarn um, and yes, I just, these were the most popular colours chosen by my subscribers. I wasn't enjoying this. Now it does have a lot of ends, a lot of stopping and starting 
and I although I do don't mind ends but I like them at the sides and it's bugging me they're all through it so my question to you is do I frog it or do I finish it now Thing will frog this very carefully for me he's really he's got the patience of a Buddhist monk and I will reuse this yarn these bits of yarn in different squares and make a square blanket but I don't know what to do should I continue on and finish it or should I frog it and forget about it because I honestly every time I look at it I go oh I've got something else I can do I'm not keen. Let me know in the comments below what you think I should do. And whatever you guys, the most of what you guys say, that's what I will do. That will help me decide. Which is really weird because I'm not an undecided decisive person. Can't get it out today. I'm usually the one that makes a decision. I know you had a boss in the past that said, the one skill I admire most about you is you make a decision. Whether it's a right or wrong decision, you will make a decision. Because I worked with another girl who was absolutely lovely, but she couldn't make a decision to save a life. She constantly undenied. So yes, I may even put a, um, a thing on my community tab working vote, yes or no, do I finish this whip and let me know. I'm really interested because I did ask you guys which color combos I should use because I had two packs and this was the most popular. When I hold it up to camera, it looks nice, but I don't know. I know I won't be able to give this to my charity group when it's finished. There'll be too many ends. They don't like um, black gowns or blankets with a lot of ends and especially throughout it because they get given to the hospital um, dementia ward, get laundered a lot, and they find things with a lot of ends don't last long. No matter what you do, the way they launder things at the hospital, the ends will come out and, yeah, it'll get tossed. So that's it for my week. I've been busy at work. Um, we had a lot of rain this week and I had a leaking roof in my office. I ended up with a hole about that big and that's neither here nor there except it was inside the cupboard and the, my, the fund I work for has been going 50 years and it was right above all the archive stuff from when the fund started in 1972. So there's lots of mad moving to get it from getting out of the way so it wouldn't get wet but yeah busy week at work I know um just spoke to thing he's sitting in the lounge reading the paper I he said I feel like doing nothing today so I said to him why don't you watch a movie he said oh I think I'll just sit and read the paper again <laughs> he reads the newspaper from cover to cover every the Saturday paper every week he always has so guys, that's it for my week. Not much, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you let me know what you think of my Rolling Hills Tea Cozy. Um, do the greens work for Ireland? They weren't exactly Kelly greens, but there you have it. And yes, do I finish or frog? That is the question for this week. Okay, take care, stay safe, stay well, and until next time, Bye for now.